Hello everyone, how are you doing? My name is Diane and this is Madam Butterfly Tarot and this is a reading for Thursday the 20th of July but obviously it's timeless. So pile number one is the Rough Blue Appetite. Really, really good for opening your throat chakra, BT dubs. Um, pile number two is the Howlite, which is really good for opening your crown chakra, receiving messages from the universe, from your angels, if you have a particular question that you would like answered. You know, you can carry Howlite around or you can open your crown chakra and the answer will come through more. And um, pile number three is the Polished Blue Appetite. So I will just give you a second to choose your pile. Apologies if you can hear the traffic, but um, I need to have the window open just now, so. Okay, so let me move that out of the way. Move this guy out of the way. And pile number one, the blue appetite. Okay, so you guys have, ooh, you have the ace of wands or the ace of fire, an exciting new opportunity, career advancement, change your life now. You have the nine of uh, pentacles or the nine of earth in this deck, enjoying life's little luxuries, spending quiet time alone, successful self-employment. I wanna say there's an, I there's an idea here uh, that's gonna come to you or that's already come to you that you're already carrying out. So some kind of new idea um, could be like a business venture with the nine of pentacles that often talks about, you know, like it says on the card, like owning your own business. Um, so that could be also something that you're manifesting with the blue appetite. The blue appetite is a stone of manifestation. So if, I feel like it's something you really like, you know, the ace of wands is something that you're very passionate about. So there's some kind of exciting new opportunity for a lot of you, it's in terms of successful like self-employment, starting your own business, working for yourself. And like I said, it's some it's an idea that's gonna come to you and I feel like you're gonna, you're gonna be very happy with it. Um, it's gonna give you more time to yourself as well. Like it, eventually it will, okay? You have the, yeah, look, you have the 10 of cups. Something's gonna make you very happy. There's some kind of new self-employment that's coming in for you that's gonna make you very happy. And you have poverty in reverse, which is wonderful. And you have gift, okay. So if you've been feeling kind of, you know, tight <laughs> with the, you know, money's been tight, that's coming to an end with this new business venture. Okay, now bear in mind some of you have not had this idea yet, but you may find that this idea comes to you over the next few weeks, okay? Um, you know, make sure you're keeping your eye out. If you've been thinking at the back of your mind, like, I'd like to start something, or I feel like maybe I'm gonna start my own business one day, keep an eye out because there'll be something that they're drawing you to, okay? That's how they work. <laughs> they give you like a little nudge in the right direction, like they'll show you an advert, or they'll show you like, you know, if it's a new skill, because I feel like for some of you, it's a gift that you have, because look at that. It's literally, it's, it's like a gift that you have that you're giving to other people. So it's something that you're good at that you may not know that you're good at yet or you may know that you're good at it, but it's something that you're gifted at that you're gonna use to like help other people. See with the 10 of cups, I feel like you're gonna make people happy with it. Um, so it, you know, it's about making people's lives better. So that could be counseling. It could be working with families. It could be anything to do with like making people happier emotionally because it's something that you have a gift at, okay? Which obviously that could be a wide variety of things. Like that could be a Reiki business. That could be a hypnosis, uh, you know, business. That could be like past life regression, something that you have. Um, it can be art. It can be, you know, writing your own books or it could be anything, right? I also feel like it's kind of a gift from the universe is what I want to say. It's almost like this, the universe is almost going to like wrap it up and give it to you. Okay. And I feel like it's gonna, It's something that's going to make you very happy. So that is your message, pal number one. Yep. I also see another message here. Um, if it's, I don't know, 
I don't know if I want to give you this message because I don't want you to think that it takes away from the message I've just given you, okay? So this could be both. So if you've been thinking about, you know, starting your own business, I feel like that message is for you, okay? Um, or you've even had thoughts in the past, like, I think I'd really like to work for myself. That message is for you still, okay? But there's also, like, for those of you that that's definitely not the case, you know, that definitely is not the case or it's not going to happen within the next 10 years or whatever, uh, you know, because you've got a job that you're really happy with, whatever. This is like a new way of thinking about self-worth because the Nine of Pentacles talks about really loving yourself, you know, like in a good way, <laughs> like, um, you know, finding your self-worth, like feeling confident, um, the Ace of Wands, like a new way of thinking about yourself, like with the Five of I always see this as the five of pentacles, so you may have been kind of left out in the cold in the past because you didn't feel like good enough or you had problems with self-esteem. That's coming to an end. It's almost like a, you know, a gift from the universe, like they're going to help you in that way, okay? Um, and you're going to be very happy. So that is the message. And obviously, if you want to take both messages, take them both, right? So I hope that was a useful reading. Thank you so much for watching pile number one. And as always, I wish you many, many blessings. Love and light. Take care. Uh, pile number two, you guys are the highlight. So you have, oh, that's interesting. You have the two of wands because, I, you know, spoiler alert, <laughs> pile number one had the ace of wands. So this is like a progression. You've come into your own new partnerships or contracts continue to move forward and you have the knight of swords or the knight of air events that occur with great speed take time to carefully review your options creative solutions you're going to partner up with someone um that's what's going to happen so if you were drawn to pile number one and you've not watched it yet i would go watch that first honestly but if you've already seen it like and you've already had this business idea or you're already doing this this business <laughs> did not come out right uh if you're already you know you've set up the business and it's flowing blah 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 i i feel there's a partnership with someone coming in could be with a gemini the knight of swords is is the card of a gemini but it's like a creative solution you know, because, I don't know, maybe if you started your own business, and it's not, I don't know, I don't want to say it's not making enough money, because I think it, I think it will, I think it, I think it is making enough money, but I feel like it's an extra thing, I just feel like it's something extra, because it has creative solutions, so it might be, it's some kind of business deal, like a sponsorship or a partnership, like someone's gonna, let's see what your cards are here, yeah, that's literally what I was just saying, See, the Six of Pentacles is literally, it's like a partnership, but it's someone giving you something. Because you see here, like the Six of Pentacles can talk about like this person here helping others. So this could be a manager. It can be someone with more money than you, with money to give. It could be a Libra um, that wants to, it's like a partnership with, where they want to help you. Okay, and I'm not saying that you're like this little beggar person here, you know, being like, please can I have some money, sir? Please, sir, can I have some more? It's just that this person has money or they're in a position to help you in some way and they want to. And I want to say it's going to be like mutually beneficial also because it's like a creative partnership in some way. So I don't know, say for example, you know, you have your own business and it's a sponsorship deal. Because that helps you both, right? Because it's like, well, they get to advertise and you get a little bit more money or something like that. You know, it, it's almost like it takes the pressure off to leave you to, you know, create more. And I feel like it's something that's going to come in very fast. Like with the Knight of Swords and the Tower, that's something, that's something very fast. It comes in very, very unexpectedly because the Tower obviously has been hit by lightning which 
nobody can, you know, no one's really expecting that, right? You don't really expect that your house is gonna get hit by lightning and burned down. <laughs> but it's not, it's not bad, obviously. It's just something that happens quickly and changes things. Um, you also have main female and you have privileged lady. See, I, uh, you know, if this is about you owning your own business, like if you were attracted to this from pile one, I feel like your business is doing well, but maybe you're working very hard or something. So this is going to be someone, and obviously, you know, if you're a guy, you just replace these ladies with males, right? Um, but it's like, uh, you're just going to have a lot, you're suddenly going to have a lot more money, you know, with the privileged, priv <laughs> privileged lady. It's, it's like you go from kind of working really hard to then this person comes in and help you, like some kind of business solution, some kind of partnership that offers a solution and you're like, awesome, like I have so much more time to myself, this is great. Like I have more time to create, I have more time to kind of, you know, be a, a privileged lady, like, you know, put up my little umbrella and, you know, fanny about in the garden, <laughs> whatever it is she's doing. I don't know, I, uh, I live in, I don't know, I live in a place that rains a lot, so I don't often fart about in the garden, but um, yeah, it's something to do with as well, because you're going to be like the main female. I'm just noticing, you see here, there's the, the female here, right? And you see how there's this person behind her? It's almost like there's going to be someone behind you, like not in a scary way, <laughs> like um, you don't have to watch your wallet or anything, but it's almost like you're still going to be the centerpiece. You're still going to be the main person, like you're still going to be in charge. You'll have creative control. It'll be your business or you'll be the author or whatever it is, like, but this person will be behind you, backing you. So. I don't know. That's the message, pile number two. It's definitely something good anyway, okay? So it's not something to be worried about. Um, but yeah, that is your message. I hope you find it useful. Um, thank you so much for watching. And as always, I wish you many blessings. Love and light. Take care. Uh, pile number three, you are the polished blue appetite. So let's see what you got here. You got the nine of swords. Expecting the worst, self-fulfilling prophecies, sleepless nights. So you're you're overthinking about something. There may even be like a lot of worrying going on, sleepless nights, some kind of anxiety that's keeping you up. And I want to say it's about something that you're maybe manifesting, or you're thinking the worst about something. You have the Ace of Pentacles, the inflow of abundance, a promising business venture important documents or contracts so you're worried about money is what i want to say but you really don't need to be because you're overthinking things there's some kind of offer that's coming in like the ace of pentacles and obviously this is going to be different for everyone you know like for some people it'll be um <clears throat> you know like a hold on I'm losing my voice <clears throat> it's interesting because i was going to talk about the throat chakra <clears> hmm <throat> um Okay, I'll just go ahead and talk about that then. So the the blue stone, the blue appetite is, um, it, you know, like I said, blue appetite is good for the throat chakra. So uh, yeah, you're definitely worried about something. It could be something to do with like a business involving communication or uh, giving out, <clears throat> oh my God, giving out information or something. <clears throat> you might be worried that you can't do it because you have anxiety or you're shy or you don't want to talk. Maybe it, maybe it involves public speaking and you don't want to talk. Let's see what else. Oh my God, look, look at that. Look at that ish. You have the 10 of pentacles. You really don't need to worry. I don't know what this is you're worrying about, but it's something to do with money. Um, for some of you, it could be something to do with like your throat chakra or your throat chakra is about to be unblocked or this is some kind of opportunity to do with speaking or something like that. You're gonna be very rich. Like, no, I mean, I don't wanna exaggerate, but the 10 of pentacles is a lot of money. It's not just like, oh, I have enough to keep me going. You know, it's 
like say you're waiting for a job you know it's someone coming in to offer you a job but it's a good job it's a good salary you know it's like a, a long-term contract you know a very long term or a permanent contract something that you can use to like settle down with you know and build a life that's what the ten of pentacles is financial security um the inflow of abundance this could also be that you you know you've um I want to say because it's the two piles of blue appetite, you may have been attracted to pile number one. But if you're starting your own business, maybe you're like, oh my God, can I actually do this? That's it. For someone here, you're starting your own business and you're wondering if you can do it because maybe, yep, the, the phone has just confirmed that. Um, you're, maybe you're wondering if you can do it because it involves speaking or public speaking or something to do with self-expression and you're like, I don't like that, I have social anxiety, but you're, if this is a new business that you're starting, it's going to be it's going to be very promising, very, very promising. Like the Ten of Pentacles is like a lot of money coming in, okay? You also have unexpected income. So I always take that card to be like the Ace of Pentacles. So there's some kind of offer. You may have been attracted to pile number two as well. I don't know. Maybe just watch everything. <laughs> I don't know anymore. Um, it may surprise you, though, how much more income you have. Okay? Because it may, I don't know, the offer may be unexpected and it's it's like, oh, oh my God, this is amazing. Like, I can finally, like, I'm solid. I feel like I have a solid base. I feel like I have the contract, the money, the customers are coming in, whatever. Yeah, this is definitely, you should watch pile number one because the Ace of Wands came out in pile number one. So you have the Ace of Wands. Oh, she's naked. Okay. You have the, oh, the star. Okay, I'm just going to turn her over because I will just keep forgetting and I'll just keep showing her. So you have the star, the Ten of Pentacles again. Oh my god, that's wild. And you have the Hanged Man. Okay, so I want to put them like that, obviously. Ten and ten. And I want to put the Hanged Man here. And I want to put the star here. So there's some kind of unexpected income or some kind of unexpected offer coming in. And I feel like it's a wish fulfillment for you because you have the star, which is a wish fulfillment. Um, it could be something to do, like the star talks about like Aquarius energy. So Aquarius energy talks about doing something a little outside the box, like something creative or something that helps humanity, you know, like something kind of philanthropic, um, something healing. Aquarius like to do that kind of stuff. Could even be that it's an Aquarius who's about to make the offer. Don't know how that fits in, but could be. See, I feel like there's this idea that you had with the Ace of Wands here, right? And I feel like you should watch Pile 1. Because I'm not going to repeat everything that I said in Pile 1, okay? Because it's boring for you. But there was like an idea that you had about a new business idea. Or, you know, maybe it's like a new job. You know, you're like, I don't want to do my old job. I'm bored of that. I f I'm feeling pushed towards this new thing. And you started applying for jobs, but there's been a waiting period with the hanged man. So you're kind of like, anxiety, <laughs> you know, did I get the job? Maybe I'm not qualified or maybe you've set up this new business or you're thinking about doing it and you're like, oh my God, like the customer, they're not coming or like I'm not good enough. Or you, I don't know, maybe it's even like you've started applying for jobs where you would have to speak and now that the time is coming closer, you're like, oh my god, I can't do it, I can't do it, man. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. You know? Yes, you can. Even the best public speakers get nervous, you know? If you're not nervous, it, you know, it, it maybe you're a psychopath, okay? <laughs> like, everybody gets nervous, you know? I, I would say it, it must be, like, even actors, you know, listening to, like, Nicole Kidman and stuff, not that I, uh, you know, not that I approve of Hollywood in any way, but they all get nervous, you know? It's it's normal. Um, it's just about controlling the nerves. Um, and you have the Ten of Pentacles twice, so I don't know what this is that you're doing, but you're on the right path, pile three, okay? Um, because it's gonna, look at that. 
look at that you have the ten of pentacles with the ten of pentacles uh just you know what this is totally random but there may be a boy born into your family or something soon a little little boy might be your little boy um or someone you know might have a little boy because uh, they're just drawing my attention to this little boy down here okay um but yeah the ten of pentacles with the ten of pentacles this is solid whatever this is that you're doing you're, you're on the right track okay there's like a lot of money like a lot a lot of money this could even be like legacy like a, enough money to build a legacy you know very very stable very very stable very very lucrative so you really have no need to worry at all um i feel like this new project or this new idea or this new job that you're going for it's almost been like blessed like you're supposed to be doing it you know it's almost like you're supposed to have this money like you're supposed to have a lot of money okay so that is your message i just i want to reiterate i just i know i don't want to keep going on but to have the ten of pentacles with the ten of pentacles i just i'm trying to get across how important that is you really don't need to worry about money because there's so much money coming your way so if it, if you're in a bit of a waiting period at the moment just try and relax as much as you can because the money is coming and when it comes there's going to be a lot of it and you're going to be solid totally solid i want to say like for a really really long time if not forever okay so please try and get some sleep okay so that is your message pile number three sorry to go on but i wanted to impress upon you how much dosh moolah green is coming your way okay and how much you really don't have to worry so that is your message i hope you find it useful thank you so much for watching and as always i wish you many blessings love and light take care